In this video, we're going to discuss the ZChain API. Now, ZChain, we saw in a previous video, is a block explorer for the Zcash blockchain. In order to go ahead and look at their API, we need to get to their website. So that's going to be at this location, explorer.zcha.in. And then you're going to want to go to the API tab and click. So I've got that pulled up here. Now on this tab, we see some details about the API and then we see all of these entities down here, these pieces of information. This information makes up the API. This is what the API actually is. So each one of these little URL looking things is what they call, this is a path to what they call an endpoint. So each one of these is an endpoint and the each one of these things is a tool in the API toolbox. So developers will use these tools to build apps. Now, what kind of apps would be built using these tools? That is one question that I wanna kinda of address here and what better way to address it than on this endpoint right here. This says retrieve multiple accounts and then, well, let's look at this next one, accounts with these curly braces and an address. It says retrieve a single account. So what this endpoint will do for you if you're a developer, a programmer, it will allow you to use this URL and pull out and put an address right here, an actual T address, and then you will be able to retrieve the details for that T address, for that account. Suppose that you're a developer and you're writing a wallet, a cryptocurrency wallet that supports Zcash. Now you might go ahead and use the Zchain API to display back to your user the details of their account. That Those kind of details are like the balance, the transactions, the sent received. In the next video, we're just gonna kind of touch on what the API is and kind of the details about it. But in the next video, we're gonna use this endpoint to write our own script that will actually retrieve the details of our account the same way that a wallet like the Jack's wallet would do. So each one of these each, each one of these endpoints is just another kind of tool in the toolbox that a developer could use to add information to their app about the Zcash blockchain. Now, see here, there's some network, retrieve network information, retrieve the blocks, retrieve a single block, retrieve the transactions. So all of this information, if you wanted this to be in your app, then you would use this, this API to actually get that data to put in the app. Let's go ahead and look in JAX and kind of take a look at the kind of information that you'd be getting from this API. So here we see the balance. So this, this piece of information right here, the actual balance, the actual balance, this one would definitely come from the accounts endpoint. And then now we can see transaction history. We, we see here's a transaction ID. We can get transactions or we can get more transactions to so retrieve transactions for a single block retrieve multiple transactions, and then retrieve a single transaction. So if you look at an account and you would get, for this particular one, you would see this the receiving and the sent transactions for that account, and then you would be able to get the details for any one of those transactions by using retrieve a single transaction. And then all that data ultimately shows up in your wallet here. And that's why when we click, if we click this link, then we're going to be taken to the Zchain Explorer. All right, so now let's go ahead. Now that we know about what the tools are inside of this API, an API, I don't know if I said this before, but an API is the way you can think about it. If you're not a, if you're not technical, if you don't know about programming, an API is just a toolbox for developers making apps. If you think of a toolbox has tools in it, an API has tools in it. And each one of these endpoints is a tool that a developer can use to get actual data data that they need to just to put in their app so their end users can know know the things that they need to know okay let's just go ahead and take a take a look at a couple of the things they say up here say z chain the z chain api is public no registration is necessary so that's nice if if you have the ability to to call this api then you can go ahead and call it you don't have to register you don't have to sign up you're good now the other thing they say is don't abuse it and they say don't call it too often so if you're calling it more than 10 times per second, then you're going to need to contact them to actually get the ability to do that. And they say if you abuse it, so you call it too many times, they're going to ban IP ban. So that's the IP address to your computer. They'll ban it. So then when you try to make the call, it'll fail. It won't work. So then down here, they also say att attribution is appreciated but not required. This just means if you're going to use the API in your app, then you should, you know, if you go ahead and say, hey, I'm using, I'm using the Z chain. I'm using a Z chain API for this, then they're going to appreciate it because you're kind of acknowledging, you know, all the work that Z chain team does to make these available. You're, you're acknowledging that. So this is an overview of the API, what it does for developers making apps, 
particularly a developer that's making a wallet or some type of, it doesn't necessarily have to be a wallet, but it can be any kind of app that needs this type of data from the blockchain. All right, so if you wanna display that type of data, then this is an option that you're gonna have available to you to use to get that data out from the blockchain and into your app for your users to see. Stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna go ahead and make use of one of these endpoints to build our own little program to check the balance in our account. Hope this video was helpful. Please like the video, subscribe, and support this Deep Lizard channel. Thank you.